what is cranial cruciate ligament rupture? Well, let's go back to Anatomy 101 and talk about what ligaments are. Ligaments are strong, dense structures made of connective tissue that help to stabilize a joint. The ligaments connect bone to bone across the joint. Okay, so the cruciate ligament is located in the stifle joint, or as you and I call it, the knee. The function of the cruciate ligament is to stabilize the knee and minimize stress across the knee joint. More specifically, it restrains excessive movement between the lower leg bone, or the tibia, in relation to the thigh bone, or the femur. As you can imagine, such an extensive movement would cause extreme pain and discomfort for the dog, as well as leading to lameness and damage to the connective tissue, which could lead eventually to arthritis. Okay, so now that you have a little bit more information about cranial cruciate ligament rupture, you're probably wondering what are the symptoms. Well, you know your dog better than anybody else, so always take note if they're having trouble walking, having trouble moving, they seem stiff, anything like that at all is something to take note of and take very seriously. But more specifically, perhaps they don't want to put weight on their leg, or they don't want you to touch it, or they, they can just suddenly become lame, and, and it can be very sudden they've just lost movement in the leg or they don't want to walk on the leg at all. These are all symptoms that could lead to cranial cruciate ligament rupture. Cranial cruciate ligament rupture doesn't discriminate. It affects dogs of all breeds and all sizes, but it is more prevalent in larger dogs who have predisposing factors already. Factors such as overweight or being middle-aged. Okay, so you and your vet would have come to the conclusion that possibly your dog has cranial cruciate ligament rupture and you'd go over the options available to you. Basically, surgery is your best option. Some owners do opt for strict kennel rest for five to six weeks for economic reasons, but in the best interest of your pet, surgery is your only option. However, there is a new procedure out called TPLO and that stands for Tibial Plateau Leveling Osteotomy. It's important to note that because this procedure is so new, you need to make sure that your vet either has extensive experience in doing it or can recommend you to a vet who does have experience. And just like regular surgery, there will be physiotherapy involved afterwards while your pet heals to get that leg back in proper working condition. So in closing, I just want to remind you to always be aware of your pet's changes in mood, diet, exercise, how they're moving, how they're acting, feeling, all of these could be symptoms of some underlying condition. It may not be easy to see at first, but talk to your vet. That's what they're there for. They're there to help you, and you know your pet better than anybody else. Thanks for watching.